They'll be calling you radical. I got to get back to Fukushima. I thought doing one of my real radical intense videos and I'm like, why do I have to? You know, we can go right back to exactly when this happened. I was w watching that famous video I did on 4, 3, 11. And then I was re-watching the one I did the morning of Fukushima. I'm like, it's like Groundhog Day, the movie, over and over and over. I mean, you think about this. We're still regurgitating. Oh, TEPCO says it's an emergency. It's a catastrophe. It's in the ocean all over. And nobody's still... To, I, this is mind-boggling. I can't believe how pathetic, ignorant this populace is. How, so we're going to sit here and just talk about it, talk about it, talk. Even our local KSL runs an ad right on the front page. Oh, one of the guys on the USS Reagan has leukemia. He's sick. Right? No shit. Hello. You're getting cancer. Hello. Huh? What? Fukushima? Huh? Have to say. I love it how it gets printed out there. Oh, both oh, marine biology on both sides of the Pacific. And they quote Japan's marine biology. Then they say Woods Holes of Massachusetts. This happened there. Really? Really? Wood Holes? Huh? Last I checked. Massachusetts was on the Atlantic. There's not one single marine biologist. This is the greatest conspiracy cover-up of all time in history. This blows my mind. Troy Livingston has posted to his page some herring with red burns all over. And as you know, I've been reporting that a guy up in Alaska told me that the northern cod come in with red burns. Here's confirmation. Oh, we got, I mean, is it really taking two years? Has really no marine biologist is going to say anything? I, I'm blown away at this. I cannot believe how evil, sick, repressed. This is the biggest police state in the history of mankind. I mean, wow. What is gone on here? <laughs> we're, we're so repressed. This is fascism on Balco. Gina McCarthy. Uh, I, I'm blown away as I put up these videos two years ago. I, there's an article that comes out. Oh, the fish markets are going to suffer. Short the fish stocks. I put up a video, a finance video, three years ago to short the fish stock. It's like, like I said, it's like Groundhog Day. Nobody does anything. It's just regurgitate. How pathetic is this? It's wide report. I've been wide reporting. I will watch these videos. I will tag these videos. And you watch them and tell me if this is today or two and a half years ago. As I did two years ago is when I got sick. Right now is when I started to get sick. I was doing these subsets of videos as the market was melting down, it was 9,600, and I was telling everybody, double down, double down, these corporate monsters are making so much, everybody, Kramer, everybody's telling you, get out. And what a score I made. I mean, you watch them. 9,600, I'm going all in Dow, going on Apple derivative, going this, this, this. Okay, I told you two years ago right now to get out of gold at 1,900. I told you to get out of silver. It was, I think, I believe it was 38 two years ago. Get out, get out, double down in the Dow. Now, would I take my profits right now? Hell yes, hell yes, because I think the market's gonna melt down? No. Do I think that maybe there's a correction in order? Yeah, we always get a correction in August. Well, we don't get a correction in August. It's about stock pickings, it's about markets, but as the fish markets, oh yeah, there's. I can't believe the fisheries and the people who own the fisheries aren't going crazy about this because we've taken this path of denial. This is the most epic denial society. The United States is the most fascist place in the, they're more fascism than freaking Italy in the 1930s. They're more fascism than Japan was. They're more fascism than freaking Nazi Germany, by far. I mean, we live in the hardcore police state in the history of mankind. The information is, I mean, you think about Megan Rice, not free. Dick Cheney, free. You think about it, Bradley Manning, not free. The guys who pushed the buttons and mass murder, free. Yeah, I can go over free, not free, not free. This is. Look, when fashion was going on over there, did everybody participate? Yeah, for the most people, as they went ahead and climbed onto the freaking rail cars, went in and took the shower wheelingly. Not all, but most did. Not me. Not me. You watch these videos of mine, and you tell me, and we're still, I am so blown. What are we, 890 days? 890 days? If the story's been told by me in an epic way as I got leukemia seven months from my hospital room in critical condition. You think about this tale told in epic 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 format style by me a guy fighting for his life most of these videos in critical condition as i'm still very sick wow wow we're sitting good time having to post reports on both sides of the atlantic massachusetts woods holes no that's the atlantic and they're over there there's no marine biology departments on the Pacific Sandy. And if you don't believe that Fukushima is the quintessential thumbprint, the capitulation to the fascism 30-year capitulation, as she, Lonnie Clark says, I don't know why we keep conserving. I'm the one that told her 
Yeah, they should call them regressives. It is the re as the new world order is the old world order. That's what kills me about the whole new world. Order. They'll say, oh, the new world order, new world, but then they'll freak participate in the creation of the freaking new world. But the new world order is the old world order. When Clinton signed NAFTA, when freaking off, the 30 year progression broke around everything. The new world order was the great progressive movement from 1945 to 1980, the strongest middle class in the history of the world, the greatest enlightenment period in the history of mankind. The feudal system of kings and oligarchs was broken down in 1916 when that inbred royal family was all taken out, including the one in Russia. They were all relatives. One left standing by default, the Queen of England. As you get on your, oh, Kate's got a baby named King George. Isn't that a metaphor? King George, as I wrote in my book, Tran Ten Ten, it will swallow us whole as the return of King George. Mission accomplished. Look, this is fascism. The new world order is the old world order. The freaking fish are so contaminated. Your kids do not, I, I had it out with my daughter. I told her, do not feed those kids fish sticks. Do not let them, I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. We will remember, just like we did then. We're gonna have trials on this. We will have a new Hague. We will have a new Hague. And you people in the media, and the marine biologists, they are the SS. They are the SS. As they went along with this freaking masquerade show, this is mass murder. And we're still just gonna talk about it. 890 days, watch my videos, go through them. And everybody get my videos backed up. Get them backed up on your hard drive. It's only a matter of time they take me down and they take all of us down. Get them backed up onto your hard drive. I mean, back them all up, every one of them. Help a guy out. I've got leukemia, help a guy out. Stay on tune it. I'll post this Troy Livingston's page, the burns on the fish. Wow, 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 both sides of the Pacific. I love that one. When they're in on the edge of the Atlantic. This is how geographically ignorant, well, this country is so pathetically ignorant. Oh, new world order, world war is the old world order. You guys like being repressed. Pay the Dragon Slayer, kiss the ring. Bradley Manning, not free. Megan Rice, not free. Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, the guys punching the buttons, mass murdering, free. Kevin Blanche, stay on tuned.